How's it going, guys? It's Monday, September 25th. I'm outside the gym, ready to go in to start this journey, I guess if you want to call it, of weight loss and just overall good health. Now, there's a lot of background story as far as where I am today. Um, I'll do a video on that separately, but basically, long story short, it's time to get into shape. It's time to drop some pounds. Really, that's my main priority, dropping some pounds. Now, just analyzing my myself, I see what the biggest issue is. The biggest issue is like, I, I'm a big dude. You see me all the time. I like to throw a munch. I'm not going to lie, as I'm pretty sure you can relate with that. Um, so what I'm going to be trying to do, obviously, I'm going to be coming to the gym, working out um, more than likely three times a week. My work schedule is Sunday through Wednesday, so I'll definitely be hitting the gym hard on Thursdays and Fridays, but today's Monday morning. Um, I just came in before I had to go into work, so it's just going to be a quick, light workout. Um, I want to make this series kind of as real as possible. I'm not here to try to, um, you know, get ready for, to be on the Olympia stage. I'm just trying to be like a regular person, just trying to get healthy, not really, um, something specific in mind, but I do want to get into shape as much as possible. Um, with that said, I also want to help myself control my diet. So, and like I said, I want to be as real as I can, guys. Um, I'm not really going to, you're not going to see me really like eating like a damn rabbit, things like that. It's just more kind of be more self-aware of what I'm eating, how much I'm eating. Uh, with that said, I'll be replacing my morning meals or for my breakfast I should say because I work second shift so my day doesn't start till the afternoon my work schedule I should say um just replacing a meal and one of my biggest problems is I get out of work late at night so just like most people when they get out of work what do they do they get at home kind of relax and they eat something my problem is that when I get out of work, I do the exact same thing, but it's at night. Not only is it at night, but shortly after, I have to go to bed. You can see the problem right there. So, going to be just be more self-aware of that. Um, as far as being able to drop weight, obviously I know I have to cut back a lot, which is what I'm going to be doing, with the help of uh, meal replacements. Uh, my first meal of the day before I go into work is definitely going to be a meal replacement. That way, hey, I can cut off some calories by doing a meal replacement. That way it's not so bad. Also be more self-aware of what I'm taking to work. Now, here's the thing, guys. I'm going to be letting you see the recording what I'm actually going to be taking to work to eat. Fortunately, I can't record inside my job. I can't even take my phone inside my job because I work at a, a jail, which is a highly secure area. Um, but I'll definitely be documenting what I'm taking to work. Um, my goal is to just whatever I take to work, that's all I'm going to eat. Once I get home, I'm not eating. But if I do get the temptation where I can't, can't take it or just you know what I gotta eat something I'll be doing the meal replacement because um again I like to throw a munch so especially you know hey I'm tired got out of work ready to just relax and they eat you know you just want to eat until you're full and that's something I'm gonna be really um restricting myself on um just minor changes and just like anything you know it takes time but um, I weighed myself this morning and I was at 281, almost 282. This is going to sound crazy, guys, but in two weeks, I have um, a con, a con coming up. And I want to drop some weight and dress up for that one. Regardless if it happens or not, I'm still going to dress up. I'll report that as well. Um... Don't know when I'm going to post this video, if it's going to be during the month of October um, or afterwards, you know, hey, check out the gathering, the, um, my, my October series of videos. 
anyway um but yeah i mean hopefully by the day of the con it's gonna sound crazy because again because again guys it's in two weeks um um, my goal is to get to 260, so that's 21, almost 22 pounds I'm going to try to lose in two weeks. Now, after that, guys, I am going to just kind of go back. I mean, what I'm going to be doing the next couple of weeks is insane. It's crazy. I know 20 pounds in two weeks, that's pretty nuts. I'm going to make I'm gonna make an attempt for it, though. But afterwards, I'm just going to kind of slow down on that, still kind of maintain. The only reason why I'm going so extreme is because a con's coming up. Hey. Let's get ready. Let's drop some weight for it. But, um, yeah. So, nothing too. Um, on my workouts, guys, I am not going to be recording what I'm going to be doing. I'll let you know what I'm going to be doing. Kind of a summary afterwards, you know, what I've done, what I did in the gym. I'm not going to be that guy freaking setting up a damn tripod in the gym and recording my shit and all that bullshit. Uh, I see people doing it, doing it, and it looks ridiculous. Um, my opinion, unless you have somebody recording you, which a lot of people don't, they have these damn setups. Um, quick reference: I saw somebody working out, and every time they do a set, they take another ten minutes to look at their footage, and it's like, dude, are you really working out? And it just takes so much time. And besides, it looks. I think it's inconsiderate. I think it's bullshit. Don't be recording yourself in the gym. That's just my opinion. Um, but I will let you know what I'm doing. And today, we're going to be starting off with definitely 30 minutes of cardio on the elliptical. I can't do a lot of heavy run running because I'm a fucking big dude. And I tried it before. Not so much that I get winded. It's just the impact on my feet. Just painful, painful. So I jump on the elliptical just to eliminate that. Still get a good cardio workout. Um, and then I'm going to be hitting a little bit of arms some buys and tries doing that a little bit. See how much I can get through it again. This is Monday and Mondays. I try to do a real light workout because I still got to get home. I am. My plan is to get home in time to sleep for another hour before I have to get up again and actually go to work. So, um, but again, Thursdays and Fridays are my days off and Saturdays. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be coming in on Saturdays. Just Saturdays are my busy days. Um, I typically don't come in on Saturdays, but if I'm going to be trying to lose this 20-something pounds, I might do it. Um, be coming in Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Well, so I just might do it for this for these next two weeks. Um, I don't know yet. But yeah, um, another thing I forgot to mention is as far as my eating, I'm going to really kind of watch what I eat, restrict my, my eating, meal replacements, etc. Monday through Friday. Okay. I'm going to go to give myself Saturdays to kind of eat whatever the fuck I want. Not to go crazy overboard, but, you know, just kind of enjoy myself. A reward for being so good for five days straight. And, you know, I'm going to be ready to throw a freaking munch after restricting myself. And you have to do that. Uh, it's not something you can you can be con consistent with, you know, 24-7. You have to kind of give yourself that break. Uh, I guess you want to call it a cheat day. Um, and then on Sundays... Uh, well, I work on Sundays, so it'll kind of be that, but not to that extreme. I think Sundays will be the only day that I'll allow myself to eat a meal at night. So kind of giving me, like, Saturdays, really, hey, eat whatever you want. Obviously not to go crazy, crazy overboard, um, eating everything in sight. And then Sundays, kind of the same thing, but not as bad because I'll be at work. I'll have to take what I'm going to eat for the day, but it'll probably probably be the only day I'm going to allow myself to eat at night. Anyway, guys, um, got to get, got to get inside the gym, get this shit started. Um, wish me luck on my journey of trying to obtain the superhero body. <laughs> um, it's not going to be easy, but Hey, nothing in life worth having never is right. All right. Um, and the set of videos I'm going to be doing again, they're going to be real quick clips. This is probably going to be my longest clip of the series. I just want to do real, real quick clips of what I'm eating, what I did, um, weigh-ins. Oh, I'll be doing weigh-ins every Saturday, um, every Monday morning, and then every Saturday morning. Again, let's just see. Hey, from this.
Sorry, sorry about that. The video just cut off. Um, but yeah, my weigh-ins are gonna be on Monday mornings, like I showed you with this one, and then going through the week with everything going. Weigh in on Saturday morning to see what kind of progress I did for the week. <laughs> But anyway, guys, um, yeah, I mean, that's it as far as getting this shit started. So I'm outside the gym. Let's go ahead and get this cardio, this pump on. <laughs> and again, guys, I'm not trying to do anything super, I'm not trying to promote anything. I'm not trying to, um, this is, I'm not trying to be super crazy as far as, you know, oh, look at me, you know, this is how you do it. And, you know, that, that kind of bullshit. I'm just a regular dude. Um. Just trying to get into shape, so I just want to document my journey, and hopefully it'll help you if it if it works. <laughs> um, you know, learn from my mistakes. That way, you don't have to make them. But again, that's the that's the game plan for right now. Again, I'm hoping that this inspires you to also get healthy, get into shape, and um, again, I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy. I'm not gonna be. Um, you know, doing something that I feel is unsustainable, unrealistic for most people. Okay. Um, again, this is just about losing weight and getting healthy. So wish me luck. Hey guys, just wanted to take this second on my elliptical workout. Uh, let you know what I'm taking. So of course I take a pre-workout. Um, it's called Pandemic. I like it. I've been on other few workouts before that I didn't like because I literally felt like a meth head. <laughs> I take the pre-workout and all of a sudden my body starts itching. But with the pandemic, I, I enjoy it. I like it. it. Gives me focus, gives me weight, gives me the energy. <sighs> um, so yeah, that's what I take. On top of that, I do wear a sweat belt. Um, for two reasons, obviously, to help me sweat a lot more. But also because when I pick up my shirt, I pick up my arms, my shirt goes up. I don't want to be showing my belly or anything. So, I'm here working out. Just um, <laughs> trying to get this done. Alright, check back with you on the way. All right, guys. So just got done with my workout. Um, did 30 minutes on the elliptical, like I said. Also did some triceps and biceps with some standing calf raises, just my own body weight, just to break up that stress and um, fatigue on my biceps and triceps. Um, yeah, like I said, it's just a quick in and out workout. Um, 30 minutes on the elliptical, about another 30 minutes on biceps, triceps, and calves. Uh, just gonna go home get some sleep because unlike a lot of other people I do not get energized when I work out I actually get tired which is why I'm going home to take a nap before I have to get up and get ready for work but when I do do that I'll record what I am going to be eating again guys I'm not trying to do some extreme diet or whatever I'm just trying to make subtle adjustments and work out freaking hard but uh, let me know what you think so far all right, guys, so like I said, here's what I'm going to be eating today. Uh, two turkey, cheese, and mayonnaise sandwiches, a banana, an apple, some chips, and some spaghetti with vegetables. So that's what I'll be eating throughout the day when I'm at work. I'll probably eat this first just because it's really thick, really heavy. Um, I'd rather eat that first, get it through the day, and just eat this lighter um, towards the end of the day. But like I said, I plan not to eat um, when I get home tonight. This one I'm going to eat right now, though, the meal replacement, in case you're interested. Okay. Four scoops with water, or two scoops with. 1% low-fat milk. 
Um, I'm going to be taking it with the two scoops in the milk, but it's going to be 2% milk. So I don't really know how many calories that's going to be. But again, normally my breakfast, give me a second. Normally my breakfast would be like eggs and bread and cereal or something of that nature. Just, you know, high calorie breakfast. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this, replace it, and um, see how it works out for me eventually in the long run. This is just day one. All right, so just a quick note, guys. That was my first time ever taking that meal replacement. Got to say it was actually really good. It was really tasty, but what I really like about it is because I've taken kind of protein shake powder, stuff like that before. The thing I've always hated was that that the products that I used to get before would always clump up. Um, they would never really dissolve well, kind of just be grindy in the whatever, water, milk, whatever. This one actually mixed very, very well. So I, <laughs> I really like that a lot. Um, what I went ahead and did, I used, like I said, I used the 2% milk, but I used, instead of two scoops, I used three. Reason being, I just want to make sure that my stomach say, stays settled as long as possible. Again, this is just day one. Let's see the results after a week. <laughs> day two. Um, obviously, no gym today. Um, Tuesday, just worked out yesterday. Uh, side note, I did not eat at night. Um, just a quick reference if you don't see me post or show that I didn't eat at all or whatever, then just assume that I didn't eat. Okay, so, but I didn't eat. Um, just like I mentioned before, yeah, I was hungry, but I go ahead and went ahead and resisted and just pushed through. So today's meal is going to be just a little bit of leftovers. It's going to be meatloaf with mashed potatoes and corn it's gonna be my lunch for work i'm actually gonna eat a bagel right now for breakfast with the meal replacement and two sandwiches with some chips for later on but yeah this is gonna be my meals for the day um so i'd add a bagel this morning with the meal replacement just to add a little bit more calories kind of curve that hunger a little bit more um it wasn't unbearable but something i'm trying to avoid but again didn't need that night was so that's in itself is a great accomplishment so this is day two tuesday no gym tomorrow will be day three uh i don't plan on working out tomorrow but thursday and friday definitely will do so all right here's what's for the meals today you got an apple avocado two turkey sandwiches and chips of course the meal replacements um now actually because this is my last day of work wednesday i'm um, gonna kind of treat myself a little bit so i'm actually just gonna order a subway sandwich uh yes a foot long um yeah no with no chips because i already got my chips right there uh, and i've also just been drinking water so i've been taking these huge gallon waters with me to work but yeah, that's my meal for t meals for today, Wednesday, and um, we'll continue tomorrow. All right, guys. So it's Thursday, day four at 10.30 a.m. I'm right outside the gym. Just giving you a quick update. My last meal, which was actually, oh, excuse me, the avocado you saw yesterday, uh, I ate that last and that was about nine o'clock. So we're at over 12 hours of basically not eating. So we're gonna hit a good hard workout again. Thursdays and Fridays are my day offs. Those are the days that I really plan to hit the gym really hard. Uh, today's plan is definitely a good leg workout. So squats, leg extensions, leg curls, um, something upper body as well, just to mix it up. I don't know, maybe shoulders today. Um, and we're gonna finish it off with 30 minutes of cardio on the elliptical. Um, that should be it. And like I said, we're doing it all fasted, which is gonna be a great benefit for the weight loss. Now today, because I'm not going to work, I'm just gonna see what I got at the house to eat. <clears throat> and believe me, cause we're doing this and I, I plan to just eat that one good, uh, hefty, heavy meal um 
that'll probably be it all I eat today just one good solid meal now later on tonight I will get hungry because I plan to do other stuff after I get out of the gym housework you know just basic stuff like that but I will do the meal replacement at night so again today's Thursday we got today tomorrow and Wayne's gonna be Saturday so we can see what the results are but so far I think it's been working um, my Pants have been a little bit looser, so it just gives me motivation. All right. <gasps> All right, guys. So I got done with my workout again. I hit it hard on my days off, which is Thursday, Friday. I'm actually considering coming in Saturday, which I never do. But in order for this, the video, and also try to get ready for the con, I just might come Saturday morning. Anyway, so today's workout. Uh, start off with stretching. I always start off with stretching, and then I do I did um, squats, increasing the weight slowly until I maxed out. Then I moved to shoulder presses. Then I moved to leg curls. Then I moved to lat pull downs. Then I finished off with leg extensions. Uh, the bulk of my workout was the squats. You know, that's my that's always been my thing. You know, whatever it is you want to focus on, make sure you hit that first when you're fully energized. All the other exercises, I just did uh, five sets until failure. The squats, I did two, four, six sets until failure, but increasing the weight each time. And then I finished off with 30 minutes of cardio on the elliptical. So, yeah, on top of that, remember, I was fasting since 9 o'clock yesterday was my last meal. It is now 1.20. I'm gonna go home and like I mentioned before, I'm gonna throw together a big freaking meal because we still have a long rest of the day to go and I still got stuff to do. Regular errands, household stuff, cleaning up, yard work, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna fill up, be good, and eventually I'm gonna get hungry again, but later on today when I do get hungry, we're gonna go with the meal replacement and come back tomorrow morning and do it all over again. All right, folks, so here is my post-workout meal. Four eggs, turkey, and soy chorizo. Down it with some <clears throat> Pope orange juice. Like I said, I'm going to throw a hardcore munch right now. Reason for that is because I know, yes, post-workout feed, but that's not all my activities for today. After I finish eating, I got a lot of stuff to do around the house. Uh, a little bit of yard work setting up some lights basically halloween decorations so i'm gonna eat this fuel to keep me going all right guys so change it's friday change of plans not too bad so my plan today was to get up a little bit earlier um actually my normal time on the on my days off to come to the gym 9 30 10 o'clock i slept in my damn alarm so it is now 11 44. um on Fridays, I typically do meet my wife for lunch, um, but she changed her work hours. So now I'm meeting her for lunch before she goes into work. Plan today was to come in, get my workout done, and my post-workout meal was my lunch with her. Obviously, we're running way late, so I'm just gonna come in, start off, do some stretching, do some cardio, go eat lunch with my wife, and then come back to finish the workout. Um, that's not something I typically like to do. I don't like to work out on a full stomach. I enjoy my workouts fasted. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. Um, but the good thing is though, I guess, you know, get, knock out the stretching, the cardio, go eat, come back, you know, full of calories, full of food, have that energy to really pump it out. Um, that's a theory though, but again, um, my focus is really fat burning and getting lean, not so much muscle building. Um, yeah, that's part of it, but not my focus. So anyway, again, because it's gonna be my first meal of the day, it's gonna be a pretty good hefty meal. I don't know where I'm gonna eat. It's gonna be her choice, but wherever she chooses, yeah, I'm gonna eat pretty good, pretty hefty, because the same routine as yesterday. Come work out, eat, go home do some stuff around the house and 
just call it a day. Oh, a uh, quick note, I did last night eat for my dinner, the meal replacement just with a couple of handful of nuts. And that was it. Pretty well, I lasted a long, long time without ever feeling hungry after that huge meal that I ate earlier in the day, my post-workout meal. Um, I actually thought by towards the end of the night that, hey, we're gonna be okay. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have to eat a meal replacement, but yeah, once it got really, really late, about 11.30 or so at night, um, yeah, I was feeling it. So I just had the meal replacement and a couple of handful of nuts. Um, the meal replacement, it says two scoops with water or wait, four scoops with water or two scoops with milk, 1% milk. Um, they're more or less of each about 200 calories after, and it calculates it for you. I'm not, again, I'm not, I'm trying to keep this as real as possible, guys. I'm not, this is no way about calorie counting, but that's just something that I noticed. What I did was, you know, typically I take three scoops with milk um, during the during my work week last night because I know it was a post workout meal. We did a lot of stuff around the house. I did um, four scoops with two percent milk. I mean, I don't drink one. I only drink two. Uh, four scoops with two percent milk. And that was it again with a couple of handful of nuts, and we were good for the night. Um, right now, again, that was about eleven o'clock, eleven thirty last night. It is eleven forty eight right now. Um, Still feel fine, honestly. Um, get in the gym, probably when I started hitting that cardio and stretching, we're gonna feel it. But I'm not, I feel hungry right now, but I'm not like, oh, I gotta eat something. Nah, nothing like that. So maybe somebody consider um, taking that, that uh, meal replacement at night. I don't know, I, usually I wake up hungry. Honestly, through my work week, I usually wake up hungry. Um, but just somebody consider. Um, Plan to do the same thing today. Just got done with cardio and switching. Here's my lunch. So four boiled fries, two chops, rolls, soda. Like I said guys, I'm not, I'm just trying to be as real as possible. Let you know, hey, I'm a big eater, but losing weight shouldn't stop you from enjoying stuff. Again, we're gonna go back to the gym in a little bit and then Tonight should be the regular shake and maybe another handful of nuts. And then tomorrow's weigh-in, so let's see how we do. All right, guys, just got done with my workout, uh, the weightlifting part. So I did back, chest, lats. Uh, that's pretty much it. A couple of exercises for each one. Um. Like I said, I went back to the gym after I ate lunch. You saw that lunch I ate really heavy, really high in bread, really high in carbs. Um, yeah, it had the opposite effect what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to give me a lot more energy, strength, whatever. One thing I completely forgot, and I don't know why I forgot, is that whenever I eat a heavy meal like that, I always go into a food coma. No different this time. I struggled in the gym today when I got back. No joke. Like, I just felt like just calling it a day, walking out. Uh, even right now, I feel like just going home and taking a nap. Again, it's just heavy meal, heavy carbs. Felt like going to a food coma. Um, which wouldn't have been an issue if I worked out before I went to go eat. But like I mentioned, it was... I woke up late today. So that's, that's on me 100%. Um... Still don't feel hungry though, which is a good thing. I'm hoping that it, just like yesterday, it lasts all day until it's pretty late at night. I uh, just have my, just get my food replacement, my meal replacement, and call it a day. And then tomorrow is going to be weigh-in. I'm still debating though if I'm going to come to the gym Saturday morning. It's something I never do. Um, just because, like, even though I'm off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday is really my day to just chill, relax, sleep in like a kind of a rest day basically because I do work on Sunday um but considering that I'm trying to drop as much weight before this con coming up next week I just might do it um if I do I'll let you know all right guys I decided to get my ass up and come to the gym I'm actually in line waiting for the car wash 
But yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym today. So I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. Uh, typically, I don't. Well, never. I I never come to the gym on Saturdays. So it's just kind of like, hey, do whatever you want. Uh, definitely the 30 minutes of cardio. We're gonna finish with that. And uh, weights, why? I mean, stretching, weights, and then finish off with the cardio, and then we'll do the weigh-in. So, uh, side note, I did same exactly same thing as the day before. Uh, and had my meal. You saw that big ass fucking meal that I downed. Uh, took me a couple of hours, like almost the, to the end of the day, till I actually got hungry again. So when I did, I just had my meal replacement, a handful of nuts. So we did that again. Um, I'm hoping that the results are going to be good at with the weigh-in today. I mean, typically on a it's a Friday Friday night. I throw a munch, you know lunch with my wife and then another big munch at night but again I'm just trying to change that and um but yeah we'll just get that done we'll do the workout and then kind of get ready for the day and we'll do the weigh-in see how it goes all right guys so we started on monday morning at 281 point something you saw what i've done exercise the eating i've documented everything for y'all just to show you that yes it can be done here we are five days later saturday morning let's take a look at the results Right there, 272.8, so give or take about nine pounds in five days. So there you go, guys. You saw that I didn't really change too much about myself. I just changed probably like one meal a day, two meals a day probably. Um, cut out the nighttime eating during my work week. Um, but yeah, I mean, the results are right there speak for themselves. Um, I will continue to do this, these videos uh, going into next week, all the way into next Saturday. That's when it's showtime, when it's the day of the con, which is, I've been, which is what I've been getting ready for. Anyway, um, let me get ready for the day, and I'll do a quick follow-up video to the week, just a summary, and see you then. All right, guys. So, summary of my week of weight loss. You saw it, I don't really see, need to say anything. But like I said, set, you have to reward yourself. You have to, it's not just one steady drop, 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 drop. That's not consistent, that's not realistic, which is what I'm trying to show. So I'm actually leaving a company barbecue, and yeah, you better believe I threw a hardcore munch. I didn't care, I'm like, I'm freaking hungry, ready to eat, ready to reward myself for the hard work. Now, that's just one day but you got to be consistent with everything. Obviously, I, you saw that I lost nine pounds. It wasn't easy, but you just got to be consistent. Got to do it. Um, something that I learned is just behavior modification, guys. Really, that's what it is. Knowing who you are, what you like, what you don't like. What I did was just replace one meal a day. I, you saw I was still able to eat more or less what I usually eat and um, not a big deal um, those are just calories that I didn't put in again I'm not a calorie counter I don't I don't think anybody is um, that's just me being real I'm trying to make it as real and raw for y'all show you that it can be done um, biggest keys so far I would have to say is definitely the meal replacements like I mentioned those are just calories that I did not consume, which contributed. And also the working out, definitely. Now, give me a second to catch my breath. <laughs> um, don't think that the working out is the key. No, the key is the eating. Definitely the key. The key to doing this is the eating. And simple logic you don't have to hit the gym a day in your life to lose weight just control your eating and there you go um, but I know how I am um, just figure out who what how you are you know make the adjustments you need to again with me I just replaced one meal a day um, if I threw a hardcore munch I knew for me personally I was gonna be able to last pretty much the entire day but towards the end typically I would throw another hardcore munch at night after a hardcore munch during the day 
I just replaced it with a mirror replacement and you saw the results. Um, that's pretty much it. If you got any questions about anything, please, please just leave the comments down below. I will answer all of them if you have any questions. But this isn't over, guys. I still have one more week. Remember, I started this journey uh, at 281. Let's see what I can get to next week, next Saturday. Be right before the con. Um, but yeah, realistically, again, I rewarded myself and kind of, it's going to be, I, I honestly feel it's going to be that whole three steps forward, one step back. Because yes, I threw a hardcore munch today. I'm going to kind of eat a little bit like that again tomorrow, Sunday. Um, but I work, so it's not going to be as bad but as today, I should say. Um, yeah, you definitely got to just give your, reward yourself, splurge a little bit. You know, that's how you maintain it versus just, you know, trying to be starving, hungry, 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 whatever the case may be. Exercise, you know, you got to reward yourself. That's how you get by this damn week and you just repeat, keep doing it over again. But I'm going to weigh myself again Monday morning and I'm pretty sure it's not going to be no 272. It's probably going to be up there a little bit, but that's okay. Like I said, it's it's not going to be just one straight line of weight loss. It's going to be ups and downs, ups and downs. The ultimate goal though is to drop that weight. Um, but again, I mean, that's pretty much a summary of what I did this week. If, uh, oh, obviously, you know, for the only thing as far as outside food or whatever is my supplements, I pick a pre-workout that works well for you if you're going to plan to work out. That works for me. I'm not even telling you to get a pre-workout. Um, but if you do, just pick whatever you like. Um, I, I like the Panda products. That's me. As far as the meal supplement, the meal replacement, the supplements, I will leave a link to that because that is not something you can buy just at any GMC, at the mall, at the corner. Well, no, that is something specific. It actually is um, a product that my wife sells. Um, she's had it for a long time. I decided to give it a, a try for the first time, and hey, the results speak for themselves. There you go. If you're interested, I'll leave the link, direct link down below. There's also other, um, there's also other products there. Definitely check it out. Uh, support small business, guys. Also support the channel if you enjoyed this video. Uh, I always say it doesn't cost you a dime, but it helps me out tremendously. Just hitting that like button, subscribing. Simple as that. Doesn't cost you a dime. But till next week, let's see where I can get with this weight loss, and we're still running after, uh, we're still running after that superhero body. But we're nine pounds closer this week. Thanks, guys.